I'm Hunter McGrady, model, designer, and activist. And I'm here to talk about everything from body confidence and feminism to politics and the planet. Because remember, we're all worthy. Hi, Hunter. Hi, beauty. How are you? Good. I am such a fan. Thank you. Oh my gosh, yeah. so much for chatting with me. I know you were a busy bee and That's doing lovely. all these amazing Super Bowl ad, which I saw the other day, which is so exciting. You've always taken a really authentic and relatable approach with body confidence and self-love and really like body neutrality. How has it changed for you since when you first started in the industry and also now that you're a mom? You know, I'm about, I'm turning 40 this year and it's like, I have different friends who are gorgeous actresses who like are worried about aging. And I'm like, you know, my my looks have never, I've never gotten enough feedback that I'm worried about losing anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not my thing. You've kind of always been this really driving force of saying like, weight is the least important thing about you. So which kind of leads me into my next question. Like yeah. I personally can't stand that media in Hollywood has kind of taken over and made everything about weight. like. Adele just recently lost weight and it's all we can hear about. Like nothing about her talent, nothing about who she is as a person. It was just all about her weight. How do you think that we can take back that conversation? For me, I, I um, was diagnosed with Lyme earlier this year and I definitely like lost a couple LBs and people's reaction of like, you're losing weight, you know, like they're right. congratulating you. And I'm like, it's really just about my health. Like, I don't know if I lose or gain weight. And and now that, you know, the pandemic's going on, there's, you don't have that like one pair of jeans that keeps you honest. So I don't even, you know, I don't even know where those jeans are. So I haven't ever met a pair of jeans that I didn't absolutely hate. So well, I have a problem. I have a, ho, jeans are hostile and yes. we're had enough. It's just, and, and my problem with it is that focus, that emphasis on, it's on on weight it's just from the media it's from what we're watching and it's it's all outward and and it's so negative and i really um yeah i just like reject that last year you uh you premiered with uh expecting amy which was an amazing documentary to watch i found out two days ago that i'm pregnant i'm so excited <laughs> Why did you want to share that with the world? I didn't know if I wanted to share it. Like we just kind of started filming it, which I think was probably a defense mechanism. Like I think because I got so sick, but then the reason that I did want to get it out there was was to show that that pressure that's on women and the reality of how it can go. And because I do think that there is something in with some women with their pregnancies that there is this pride of like, I just, it's a little like spider belly yeah. and the rest of me is still right. like, I'm just, right. okay. okay, well, here's how it went for me. And, right. um, and I'm really annoyed. Like I could tell that people, they wanted you to be like, I'm pregnant, but I'm fine. Like they want that right. for me. They want you to shake it off. Women are just told so much, just kind of shake it off and be tough. Don't don't it. Yeah. That's, that was so beautiful to watch, even though it was so hard for you. I was like, yeah. wow, makes sense. A lot of women, I think, feel less alone. Okay, changing gears a little bit. I think it's so exciting that you have partnered with Hellman's and are in a Super Bowl commercial with them. What do you look for in a partnership like that? And and what really made you want to partner with someone like Hellman's? 40% of all the food in our country is wasted and 43% of that is in our own homes. And I think it's because we get overwhelmed. They've like donated 1.2 million pounds to- Wow. Of food, of food to- to people with food insecurity last year. And they have like a whole relief fund for food. And whenever I'm gonna maybe partner with a company, I'm like, well, what are you guys doing? And what does your board look like? Is it just a bunch of old white men? Well, I wanna be involved in brands that are, you know, on the right side of history. All right, that's a wrap. Amy, thank you so much for chatting with us. All right, bye. Bye, babe.